A special memorial was held this week for State Senator Mark Nye of Pocatello. Local News 8's Linda Larson was there and tells us about the huge crowd that came out to pay their final respects. Idaho State University was the perfect place to hold a memorial for the late Senator Mark Nye. It was a place he loved and a place he loved to support. He was a constant, constant supporter of all of us. Not the least of which was every student at this university. Because the work that he did supported those students directly and indirectly. Mark spent his whole life helping education. Senator Nye had a resume of success that stretched through decades. But his quest was always the same, either as a student, a lawyer, or a senator. He was a champion of justice and had a great desire to serve others. One of his former law partners talked about when Mark told him he wanted to run for Senate. At your age, and you're a Democrat in Republican Idaho. I said, you're not going to be able to accomplish anything. And Mark's response was simply this. He said, it's been my lifelong dream. I want to go about doing good for others. He viewed being an attorney, being a public service, and he served as an example to all of us, and I'm proud to call him a friend, and Idaho is a much better place because of all the things he did. Mark's wife, Eva, was appointed by the governor to finish his term in the Senate. I was there for the special session. I was able to sit in Mark's seat in the Senate chambers, and it was very special for me, and I know it was probably very special for Mark that I was there. Anyone who knew Mark would say he had a quick wit and a quirky sense of humor. One of the most touching tributes was the one given by Senator Nye's grandson. Our family was visiting Cabo San Lucas when we attended a karaoke event at the resort. All the guests at the event were sitting around wondering who was going to go up first, who was going to stand up in front of the crowd and sing. Lo and behold, the music started. The words of Home on the Range appeared on the big screen. <laughs> To much of everyone's surprise, we heard the very deep voice of Mark. Home, home on the range. If any of you were lucky enough to hear Mark singing, you might have come to the conclusion it wasn't his strongest suit. After his name should come in the letters R, G, G. Because at the end of the day, he was a really good guy. Reporting at Idaho State University, I'm Linda Larson.